Hello, I have just woken up and have suffered severe damage to my motor capabilities and have lost most of my memory. But I still do have one thing. I have a brain and that brain is completely set on one singular goal. I am starting my journey by getting on the rowboat that was bestowed to me by that man whose name I already forgot and heading to Red Wake in which I immediately started fighting Jaw Pirates. I then celebrated my victory against the Jaw Pirates by taking a very short nap, only a few hours long, comparable to how long I'd be sleeping for. I was then told by Chief Falcorin to do some chores and then proceeded to skip those chores and go straight into rowing my way up to where the hermit lives because he did ask for me to kill him, I'm assuming. I didn't actually listen to the conversation. Quite ended quickly. Let's move over to Frostmill and see if I can find some tasks which will help me achieve my goal of being the best person to have ever lived. I start my journey by first talking to Enisor to see if he can give me the location of a strong enemy which I will immediately proceed to attack. Well, this is quite the aggressive enemy. I have no idea why she thinks that I'm trying to capture her. Oh, okay, I guess I have joined Ravenna. Well that fight was easier than the fight with the hermit. I am disappointed. So, let's see why she thinks I was part of Ravana. Okay, I've heard enough. I'm skipping through this conversation. I'm assuming I already know everything she said, and will now proceed with my master plan and explore the Bronze Sea to see if I find something interesting, something that I can get famous off of to get closer to my goal of being number one. And indeed I did find something, I found a Ravenna Selvo, one that was proved by some rather weak people, so I immediately started attacking.
My plan was flawless. The only thing that went wrong was that after clearing all of the crew, the boat just despawned. Likely consumed by some wretched sea monster. So I'm turning to trading to become filthy rich and hopefully fix my problems. And while I'm at that, I'll be talking to Ren and see what he has. Okay, let's continue trading since that is more interesting than whatever he said. Trading made me slightly richer, did not solve any of my problems. So I am now continuing the story that the game intended me to follow. And I'm climbing the step stone to talk with someone. I do not know who, but I will speak to someone. But first I am picking up everything that is not nailed down to the ground. So I proceeded to speak with Iris and then immediately went to talk with Ren, which wasn't there. This is awkward. As I was saying, I proceeded to speak with Ren. No idea what he was talking about, but uh, I then got onto a skyship that I was told to rent and headed for an island, and then encountered a menace to society. A man who could detect someone that was right behind them without even looking. I proceeded to make sure that he was never seen or heard from again. Anyways, after that quick battle, I proceeded to speak with Randall, the tree man. His wisdom has led me to interrogate this random innocent man and see if he has any information, which he in fact did. I then proceeded to go to the Jin Islands on a rented skyship and after seeing a man from the Order from a somewhat far away, I immediately went off board and started fighting. That fight was a bit scarier than I thought it would be, so I immediately retreated so that I did not lose my life. I would continue to attack my enemy from afar, since, you know, it's far safer, it's just not many drawbacks to fighting from afar. I'm not a coward, trust me, I'm, I'm not a coward of that, but what? Anyways, I proceeded to clear out the enemy, and then went to fight their boss, Bordelius. Both of the assumptions of my identity were very wrong. I am actually a man with severe dementia. Thank God you aren't gonna say a speech before your battle since it's already quite clear that I am gonna be the one that's victorious. And I lost, quite badly. I think I'm gonna just tag along someone else who's fighting him so that I can far more easily defeat this scoundrel. This fight was way too easy and honestly, I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm just gonna spare him so that he can train a bit more so that I can hopefully lose to him. I never lost one a single time. Anyways, I then went back to the Sitter's Lodge and figured out that Morden is the name of the guy who I forgot the name of in the beginning. I then immediately proceeded to go to the Ravenna Fortress and got my ship sunk. What a wise captain I am, indeed. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to leave my adventures off here for the time being, because I need some serious training to be a better captain. If you want to see all the footage that went into the making of this video, I have uploaded it all into a separate video.